This is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Saturday, June 20th, 2020. There are no significant impacts in the forecast for the next couple of days. We're just looking for some gradual drying and warming uh, to near or just above seasonal levels over the next couple of days. Um, some isolated wet thunderstorms will move into Idaho or Wyoming uh, this afternoon, mainly just the higher elevations there uh, with light to moderate winds this afternoon. Over the past 24 hours, we didn't see much in the way of precipitation or lightning. Recent fire activity is shown here with some fires yesterday popping up in western Utah and northeast Utah with a few other fires over the last couple of days in south central Idaho and along the Sierra Front. We observe precipitation for the past seven days as shown here. It's been quite dry over the last week over southern Nevada and southern Utah with some pretty good precipitation amounts over the central Idaho mountains and even there into southeast Idaho and portions of northern Nevada and northern Utah. ERCs have continued to rise across southern Utah uh, where those values are above the 80th percentile. Uh, it has been warm and dry there for quite some time so those values are above normal for the time of year. Further north those values are below the 50th percentile and somewhere in between over central Nevada and central Utah. So taking a closer look at a couple of those areas where we've seen recent fires, uh, those ERCs came down over the weekend, last weekend, with that cooler air, but have been on an upward trend for the last couple of days, still above normal for the time of year, uh, but not really close to setting any historical records. This morning's satellite imagery is showing a weak ridge in place over the Great Basin for that gradual and warming and drying trend. Uh, there is some moisture over the Pacific Northwest which will kind of ride up over this ridge and bring some precipitation to the very northern central mountains there and over into western Wyoming for today and tomorrow. Elsewhere across the Great Basin we're looking for warm and dry conditions. So for this afternoon we can see that moisture moving in mainly to the mountains of central Idaho and western Wyoming. Uh, gradual warming and drying over the rest of the area. Winds will generally be light this afternoon, although we could see some gustier conditions there along the Sierra Front in western Nevada and possibly over the higher elevations of eastern Utah as well and then and western Wyoming will see some stronger gusts as well. High relative humidities across the north with low values into the single digits across southern Utah and southern Nevada. On Sunday, drier conditions will move into Idaho. We will see some possibly lingering showers over western Wyoming. Uh, but warming and drying region-wide. Some gusty winds will continue across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming on Sunday with possibly some higher gusts as well over the, the higher elevations of eastern and central Utah. Relative humidities remain low across the south and higher across the north. More of the same on Monday with continued warm and dry conditions. Winds will remain light uh, even in Idaho on Monday uh, with just possibly some higher gusts continuing across the higher elevations there in east, east central Utah. Relative humidity remains low across the south and high across the north. Three day precipitation totals are shown here. Uh, very dry for much of the Great Basin but really just looking for some precip over the very northern central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming mainly today into tomorrow. On Tuesday we'll continue to see the ridge in place across the southwest U.S. with continued warming and drying area-wide. Generally light winds as well. On Wednesday warm and dry conditions will continue across the geographic area. The ridge uh, slides a little bit to the east as it looks like maybe we'll begin to see a little trough move into the Pacific Northwest which would co could possibly bring an increase in moisture uh, coming to the Great Basin but uh, there's quite a bit of uncertainty with this moisture right now so we'll be watching it um, not looking for any significant thunderstorm activity on Wednesday. Um, by Thursday that low could possibly move a little bit further east across the northern Rockies and uh, might bring a little bit of a better chance for some isolated thunderstorms uh, certainly to the north and possibly into northern Utah by Thursday. 
And then on Friday, it looks like maybe some of that moisture lingers into Utah um, for a continued chance of some thunderstorms there. The seven day totals are shown here, really just highlighting the precip expected over the next couple of days in Idaho and western Wyoming. But then as we get into the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time period, we may see a little bit of moisture move into northern Utah and far northern Nevada. So we'll be taking a look at that moisture, uh, watching it closely to see just where it moves into Utah. Um, but for the short term, today through Wednesday, really just looking for warm, dry conditions with generally light winds and then looking for a bigger change coming uh, for the second half of the work week and into the weekend next week. The extended forecast for June 27th through July 3rd is calling for below normal temperatures across the northern Rockies, even dipping into far northern Utah and northern Nevada, with above normal chances for precipitation across Idaho, northern Nevada, and northern Utah. So we'll be taking a close look at this forecast. It's a little bit uh, different um, than, we're, than we normally are looking for heading into the 1st of July. Um, but cooler and wetter across the north. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.